Hello gorgeous Taurus, welcome to your weekly reading. I hope everyone is doing really well. I'm going to be reading five decks of cards this reading and it's going to be a mixture of oracle and tarot and at the end of the reading I'm going to be using the pendulum so you can receive a direct message from spirit to a yes no question. So let's take a look at your cards and see what spirit would like to bring through for the week ahead. Be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading because this is how spirit speaks directly to you and of course spirit does want to bring through that message so just take what resonate leave what doesn't resonate let's take a look at your first card polite declaration you can move in whatever direction you need to accomplish your goals it is time for you to get out there claim what is yours and stay in your power oh i love that taurus beautiful let's see adrift in shallow water take a few deep breaths and reconnect to your inner peace notice the small things and appreciate them so you're appreciating the smaller things but you're also with this first card you're also claiming what is yours you're claiming what is yours you're not holding back you're claiming what is yours and you're noticing the details. It's going to bring inner peace. I love that with the turtle, that message. Inner peace is yours. Single mindedness. Choose your own path and what is best suited to you. So there seems to be a theme here with these cards. And this is about um, your path and your decisions and making a choice to claim your power for inner peace. And this card here, total submersion. Don't be afraid to totally immerse yourself in a project, interest or goal. Give it 100% of your energy and you may find your life um, and you may find what your life has been lacking. Give something your all this week and you're going to get some fantastic results. You really are going to get some amazing results you just need to um, not procrastinate there's an energy here of kind of getting things moving um, so that's powerful and let's see what this card is every step counts there is an advantage to taking things slowly breathe deeply and fully as you consider your options yeah so you might have a decision to make there might be a decision there might be Something coming up ahead for you where you're needing to just take a breath, take a moment to decide. Let's see what this deck reveals. Creation. Remember your thoughts shape your future. Your words create today. Your choices become your reality. Yeah, so a choice is really important. A decision um, and also, you know, spirit is touching on your thoughts and how powerful they actually are. You've got an expectation for something. Be open for whatever comes next. It might just be the music your heart's been waiting to hear. Positive thoughts. Positive expectation, Taurus. Destiny. Acknowledge your mission. Align with your purpose. You have gifts to share with the world. Sharing your gifts with the world. I love that. Your destiny is waiting for you. You just need to make some kind of choice by the looks of it. Every step counts as well. So, you know, you are moving forward. You are moving towards something, even if it is at a slower pace. Journey. Focus on how far you have come, not how far you have to go. You will find help in unexpected places. Yeah, exactly. Focus on how far you've come um, and not, you know, how far you have to go. That explains exactly what I was feeling here with this card just now. Um, just take it one step at a time and acknowledge your, acknowledge the journey, acknowledge your successes. Um, and you might also find some kind of unexpected help or guidance, friendship, maybe from a friend. Be with the ones who make you shine, who love you and really care. 
keep those and let the others go. So it might be about releasing some friendships or, um, you know, a new friend may come along. Okay, there's a journey with a friendship. It's destined. Positive expectations for things this week. It's important, Taurus. Keep that positive mindset. And let's see what this deck reveals. The cow. Give with unconditional love and grace. Beautiful. I love that. I love that image. The panda. Stay balanced and in your essence. Yeah. Very important. The bear. Use power with wisdom. Mm -hmm. The rabbit. Recognize your significance. Recognize your significance. I love it. The bat, see through illusion into truth. See through illusion into truth. Yeah. There's someone or a situation that has been pulling the wool over your eyes. Something has not been out in the open as much as it should be. And that is going to come to a conclusion. There is going to be a reveal of some kind in that way uh, this week, Taurus. Okay, let's see what this deck reveals for you. Guidance for Taurus. Guidance for Taurus. Mm, this one here. Simplicity. So might need to simplify things or get back to basics with something or someone. Purification. You might be purifying something in your life. You might get that urge to detox. Um... Yes, see how that fits in your life. See how that resonates. Success. There's success this week for you. Success. You know, and I really feel with this card that you've gone after it. You really have chased this success. You really have um, put in the effort and time and, and money, resources, whatever, to um, make this situation a success. Delight. Beautiful. And this card here, forgiveness, forgiveness. And this can be forgiveness of self, might be forgiveness of someone else or a situation in your past. Let's see what the tarot reveals. Guidance for Taurus, please, spirit. The Eight of Cups, you're wanting to move on, you're wanting to move away, you're what you can... You can see that a journey is ahead of you and you're not afraid to kind of turn your back on something that's been um, supporting you or it's been good for a time. But, you know, there's there's more out there and that's really the feeling of this card. There is more out there. And, you know, if you're leaving a situation or moving into a situation, it's connected with this cow card, which is about unconditional love and grace. So you're supported not only... Um, potentially by other people but also by spirit and universal love to to kind of follow your own path here and if you do need to leave a situation or a person or leave something behind you'll be approaching this with love and grace in your heart temperance this is Sagittarius's card so you may have a Sagittarius around you that's significant and it's about balance and the blending of opposites, so that may be relevant for you. Staying balanced. We've got that even with the card below here. Stay balanced in your essence. So that's, that is an important message. So when you see a message that's coming up twice, three times, sometimes it happens three or four times, the same message will come up. That is an indication that spirit really wants you to pay attention to that particular um, message, that particular thing. The Seven of Swords. This is a win-lose. Someone is trying to take away from you in some way. It can also mean harsh comments, criticism and negativity and toxic um, thinking or communication. Now, if that resonates for you, it's important to use your wisdom. Use power with wisdom. There's a power play. There's a power play involved here. The Three of Swords, heartache, heartbreak, difficulty, challenges emotionally and mentally in a relationship, perhaps it's connected to the rabbit. Recognize your significance. 
because the three of swords can be a really painful thing. And so recognizing your significance, your value, your worth, when the three of swords is around, when someone may be actually trying to hurt you, um, is difficult. So remember your significance this week, no matter what your own thoughts are saying or what other people are saying. The Queen of Pentacles, this is a great energy for being practical with things and it's also about nurturing um, long-term growth with someone or something is what I'm seeing here. And it's connected to the bat. See through illusion into truth. See through illusion into truth. If you take a practical approach with things, if you're very pragmatic, if you are... If you take that approach, I think that the illusions are going to fall away and you'll see the truth to a situation. The star is Aquarius this card, so you may have an Aquarius around you significant in some way in your life. And the star is about healing and following your north star, your guiding star. So that's what you should be doing this week and it's also linked in to simplicity. There may be a calling card from spirit, um, might be a feather, a white feather for some. Simplify things and you'll follow and you'll find out what your path is or your gift is. If you simplify things, spirit is saying that a huge change will happen, a positive change. And this will be a surprise blessing for you. I love that. The Five of Pentacles. Now, this is a tumultuous energy when it comes to finances, or there may be worry about finances or your health or material things. Um, this can also mean that you're feeling isolated or out in the cold. Someone is distant. It's a purification that's linked to this. Purification linked in with this message. And the chariot is Cancer's card, so you may have a Cancer around you. And the chariot means your will aligning with divine will and kind of moving forward with confidence. So you go out and you um, put your best foot forward and be confident this week you're going to have success. It's, you know, the card below it, so it's definitely guaranteed here. Beautiful. The Five of Cups is um, upset emotions, deep emotions. And it speaks to loss, disappointment. There is delight here. This is interesting contrast with these two cards. So there is actually a delight that you're going to look up and see something beautiful. Even though you have some cups that have uh, tipped over here, spilt. Um, loss, disappointment, whatever this is, whatever situation this represents for you, this five of cups. You're going to look up and see some delight in your life. Some wonderful blessing here. You have the Six of Pentacles, which can mean charity, which means that maybe giving to you, but perhaps it might also be you giving to others. Six of Pentacles also is about um, receiving, receiving what is yours, fair and balanced. It's linked into forgiveness. It's linked into forgiveness of some kind. Forgiveness. Something needs to, I'm feeling a, a mercy with this energy. Hmm. So you might be feeling merciful towards someone or a situation. Someone did you wrong, perhaps. Might also be, um, might also be linked into a workplace scenario. That's also possible with pentacles. Or a relationship that was unfair in some way. Forgiveness is important. Okay, so let's take a look at the pendulum. Think of a question that you would like answered and we'll see what spirit says. Think of that now. Think of that question now. Looks like it's maybe, maybe. So things are not set in stone. It may happen, it may not. It's just not set in stone. There may be lots of different things that are 
uh, going on with it, the situation or the question that you've asked about, but it's not set in stone. So that is your answer. I hope this reading has been helpful for you. It's been wonderful to read for you today. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.